Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Previously in this video series we were discussing about the sorting and we discussed about the sort and sorted function that two are the built-in functions and in that we need to do nothing we need to just give a list of numbers that's it. But we can write the program to sort the numbers without using that built-in functions also. There are many sorting algorithms and in that we are discussing about selection sort algorithm today. So selection sort algorithm is a simple algorithm. It is the in place comparison based algorithm. In this algorithm we need to compare the numbers and we need to place them in the correct position. So here in this tutorial what I do is I will explain you the selection sort algorithm by taking one example. Next we will discuss about the selection sort algorithm and after that we will write the program based on that algorithm. I think this video will become very lengthy so I will divide it into two parts ok. In this tutorial we will discuss about the example and uh, algorithm. In the next tutorial we will discuss about the python program alright. So first we will take the example and we will see how to sort them using selection sort algorithm. Alright, here are the numbers 5, 15, 3, 12, 17 and 0. Okay, total 6 numbers are there. And if I take these numbers are in the list. So the index of first element will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright. So the first step in the selection sort algorithm is search the list and find out the minimum number. So here we are sorting the number in the ascending order, right? First we'll talk about the ascending order, okay? So as we know in the ascending order, the smallest number will be present in the first place, right? So we need to find out the minimum value in the list of the numbers, right? So how to find out the minimum number in the list of number? If I am doing the manual calculation, then I can see the numbers and I can say zero is the smallest number. But we are writing the program then how to find out the minimum value. For that there are different ways. One way is we can use the min method. Okay. And we can find out the smallest number. This is the built in method which will give the smallest number in the list of numbers. Okay. That is easy. And the second way is we can take the first value as the minimum value. That's nothing but here. I'll take one variable okay called minimum value okay and I'll take the first value which is present in the zeroth index as the minimum value okay after that what I'll do is I will compare this value with the all the other value like first I'll compare whether the next value that is 15 is smaller than 5 no it is not right 5 is the smaller value so I don't do anything Okay, condition become false so I won't do anything. I'll check the next value that is whether 3 is smaller than 5. Yes it is. So we got the new minimum value. The value which is smaller than 5. So now what I'll do? I'll take 3 as my minimum value. Alright. Again I'll check whether the next value 12 is smaller than the minimum value that is 3. No it is not. Condition become false. So I won't do anything. Again I'll check whether the 17 the next value is less than the minimum value that is 3. No it is not. So I won't do anything. Again I'll check for the next value that is I'll check whether 0 is less than the value 3 or minimum value. Yes it is the condition become true. So if the condition become true then I need to take the new minimum value that is 0 is the minimum value. Here we check the entire list and we got the minimum value as 0. So we got to know 0 is the smallest number in this list of numbers. So we completed the first step that is find out the smallest number in the list of numbers. So 0 is the smallest number. So the second step in the selection sort algorithm is we need to place the smallest value in the zeroth index. Smallest value will be present in the beginning right we know that. So we need to place that in the zeroth position. 
for that what we need to do we need to swap value 5 and 0 okay so after the step 2 we'll get the value like this 0 at the zeros index then 15 then 3 12 17 and here 5 okay okay so here in the this list there are two part okay one is sorted part another one is unsorted part here 0 is in the sorted part and 15 3 12 17 and 5 are the unsorted part because as we know we found out the smallest value and we place that in the zeroth index so we know at the zeroth index the smallest value is present that is sorted okay so no need to think about that now we need to sort these numbers okay so for this i'll do the same thing that is i'll find out the minimum value in this unsorted part so for that i'll use the same method one we can use the min method or you can use the second method that is i'll take the first value as the minimum value and i'll compare it with the three okay so i know three is the smallest value so the variable min value will be three so i'll compare it with the 12 no 3 is smaller so again i'll compare it with the 17 no again 3 is the smaller value now i'll again compare it with the 5 no 3 is smaller than 5 so after searching the entire list we got the second smallest element that is 3 okay and that is present in the second index so what i need to do now I need to swap that to the first position okay so after that we'll get output like this so 0 3 15 12 17 and 5 okay so now 0 and 3 are the sorted part and 15 12 17 5 are the unsorted part I will do the same thing that is I need to find out the minimum value in this unsorted part okay so for that i'll take 15 as the minimum value and i'll compare it with the 12 12 is the smaller value so so now minimum value will be 12 again i'll compare it with 17 no 17 is bigger so again i'll compare it with 5 5 is the smaller value now we got the third smallest value in the list okay so i need to place that in the correct position so for that i'll swap 15 and 5 okay so now after that the value will be 0 3 5 12 17 and 15 now 0 3 5 are the sorted part 12 17 15 are the unsorted part so we need to do the same thing that is find out the smallest value in 12 17 15 so for that i'll take 12 as the minimum value and i'll compare it with 17 no 12 is the smallest value again i'll compare it with the 15 no 12 is the smallest value and it is present in the same position okay swap 12 with the 12 so after that step we'll get the same list 0 3 5 12 17 15 but here 0 3 5 12 are the sorted part and 17 15 are the unsorted part so now again i will check the smallest value in 17 and 15 so i will take 17 as the min value and i will compare it with the next value that is 15 no 15 is the smallest value right now our minimum value is 15 okay so we need to swap that to the correct position so i'll swap 17 and 15 so we'll get the output as 0 3 5 12 15 and 17 now 0 3 5 12 15 are the sorted part and 17 is the unsorted part so 17 is the minimum value in the unsorted part so it is placed in the last position okay so here we got the numbers in the ascending order Okay, so this is how we can arrange the numbers in the ascending order using selection sort algorithm. So if you ask then how to arrange the numbers in the descending order. In the descending order we know that at the first place there will be a maximum number, right? So in this step 1 instead of finding the minimum value we need to find out the maximum value and we need to place that in the first position. 
so we need to find out the maximum value for that i can use max method or i can take this as the maximum value okay and then i can compare it whether the next value 15 is greater than 5 yes it is right 15 is greater than 5 so condition become true so i'll take the 15 as my next max value i got a new value which is greater than value 5 all right next now our max value is 15 and again i will compare the max value with the next element that is 3 whether 3 is greater than 15 or max value no it is not condition become false so i won't do anything i will check for the another value that is 12 I'll check whether 12 is greater than 15. No, it is not. Condition become false. So I won't do anything. I'll check for the next value that is 17. I'll check whether 17 is greater than 15. Yes, it is. So we got new maximum value that is 17. So I'll take max value as 17. Again, I will compare value 17 with 0 okay that is the next value whether whether the 0 is greater than the max value or 70 no it is not so i won't do anything now the value of max value variable is 17 we search in the entire list and we got the maximum value that is 17 by comparing it i'll find out the maximum value and next i'll swap that to the first position or zeroth index so we'll get 17 15, 3, 12, 5, 0. Okay, so this is the sorted part and this is the unsorted part. Again, I will find out the maximum value. So next next maximum value is 15. So we'll get 17, 15, 3, 12, 5, 0. So again, 17 and 15 are the sorted part and 3, 12, 5, 0 are the unsorted part. So I'll find out the maximum value here. So we'll get 17, 15, 12, 3, 5, 0. Now 17, 15, 12 is the sorted part and 3, 5, 0 are the unsorted part. So I'll find out the maximum value here. So we'll get 17, 15, 12, 5, 0. 3 0 okay now this is the sorted part and 3 0 are the unsorted part i will find out the maximum value we'll get 17 15 12 5 3 0 okay so now this is the sorted part and this is the unsorted part so here single value is present and that is the maximum value so it will placed in the last so here we can see values arranged in the descending order okay so this is about the selection sort algorithm so next we'll see the algorithm okay so first step is starting from the first element search the smallest element in the list and replace it with the element in the first position okay that is find out the minimum value or maximum value and place that in the zeroth index next and take the sublist okay that is accept the first value and find out the minimum value and place that in the index 1 and this will be repeated until the list is completely sorted okay so this is about the algorithm in the next tutorial we'll discuss about the python program to sort the numbers based on the selection sort algorithm okay so that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in the next class till then take care